There's a good chance if you click this video, you're wanting to know how I lost over 100 pounds and how you could possibly too. Before I get into that, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to see future content from me, Solified. Yo guys, what's up at Solified, and welcome back to my newest video. Well, I'm going to get right into my story about how I managed to lose 100 pounds in exactly, I'll tell you down to the date, 1,090 days today. A few disclaimers. Some people that have clicked on this are probably aware, but what works for me won't always work for you. These are the steps that I took in order to lose over 100 pounds to go from roughly 300 pounds to about 195 as of, as of yesterday. And I'll tell you how I did it. I have been working continuously, nonstop, for 1,090 days. Now, some people are going to instantly think, what's your diet? Did you overexert yourself? All these questions are normal things that come up when related to fitness. One thing I can tell you for sure is I didn't spend 1,090 days in the gym. A lot of things have to do with home workouts. Just out of frame here, I have a set of little ab rollers, a 60 pound weighted vest that I use to curl and stuff. So I'm gonna go over things from the beginning to the very end, kind of the start of my story and what I do day to day today. Let me pull up my two go-to pictures that I show everybody when I crack to them that I was about 300 pounds. Here, the first picture I have is my dad and I on May 19th, 2017. Yeah, look at that big boy. Oh, man. And this is the picture that I show usually right after. Yeah, a little better, huh? Not half bad. I haven't been watching my diet at all. I didn't watch my diet at the start of that. A couple of things compounded over the years to make sure that I ended up being 300 pounds. I stopped playing soccer whenever I was in elementary school and middle school time because I lived down the country and it was kind of just a far drive to be able to get there, so I stopped playing. I'm probably gonna be making a lot of cuts in this video as well because I'm trying to piece everything together in the best chronological order that I can to give you guys the best details that I can in the beginning and up until now through the process. I recently moved into this apartment. It's the first time I've ever lived out on my own, but whenever I lived with my mom and whenever I was in high school, I would save my money every single day that my mom gave me for lunch to walk up the road to the grocery store to get like two liters of pop, a ton of candy, and things that were just horrible for me. Then I would come home and sit and play video games for hours, shoveling food in my face before dinner and then during dinner and then after dinner. I was sleeping while I was at school and if I wasn't doing either of those, I was shoveling food in my mouth. Good God thinking about that. It's a... It's a it's a wonder I wasn't heavier. People ask, what was your inspiration whenever you got into fitness? What got you there? What kept you motivated? I'll tell you exactly why I started trying to lose weight. I want to be successful in life. Whatever I do, I want to be successful. I know that in today's current state of social affairs, that if you are skinny, you're perceived as more attractive, which helps you be more successful. People tend to open up to you more, give you more opportunities, just based off that, it's a fact of life, unfortunately. And I can say for a fact that relationship-wise and job-wise, if I was heavier, I wouldn't be where I'm at. One day, I decided that I was going to work out. I went to the track near my school. I could literally see from my kitchen at the time. I went there, and I worked out every single day. I would run around the track, and no joke, I would get, like, shin splints in my legs. It was horrible. I was running for the first time in a decade at that point, possibly. Pro yeah, probably a decade. And I was at 300 pounds just full on running best I could to the point that whenever I would ha have to stop, I would sit down and like roll and stop on the football field crying continuously and then get up and do it over and over again. I would do push ups on the bleachers, do what is it, calf raises, and just squats right there on the bleachers. I would post every single day on Snapchat to keep myself accountable. My day one, day two, day three, every single fitness post that I could to keep myself in kind of a routine of, okay, if I don't work out today, there's going to be this many people that know that I didn't work out. I have to hold myself accountable. So I did that, and slowly over time, a group of people that I, can, that I consider today to be really close to me were there to support me along the way and kind of built a little workout group along the track we would meet every single night to be able to work out with each other push each other continuously and i can say without a shadow of a doubt without those people i probably wouldn't have made it where i'm at where i am today i don't think that i would have pushed myself continuously to be able to do that 
on bleachers. There are metal support beams across the entire back just to be able to keep everything up, you know, naturally. Well, my group would get up there and do pull-ups on it, and I would have to sit and watch. I couldn't even attempt to. So I made it a goal that one day I was going to be able to do that. And thankfully, a couple months ago, I went back to that exact same spot and did more than one pull-up, but I fell to the ground and instantly just, like, broke into tears. That was a goal that I had for my entire life. Like, the fact that I could even go do a pull-up right now if somebody asked me to blows my mind. It honestly doesn't feel like I was ever big. Like, I don't really remember being big. I have a weight vest that's 60 pounds, and if I think I lost almost double that, and it's already heavy wearing that, then what was it like for me to walk around at that weight constantly? You get, to, you get used to so much, and I think that's the big thing with weight loss majority of the time, is most people that don't know that they're overweight or can't accept the fact is that they've just grown accustomed to it. I can do so many more things now that, <laughs> that I couldn't do then, like a push-up. I get down every single morning in my kitchen floor and do 50 close and wide push-ups, and then I do air squats, and I got like a little, like a little grip workout set, and it's, it's honestly enough. Like, I used to work out an hour to two hours a day, and now I have to work maybe 30 minutes, but I'm rambling all over the place. Let me get down to exactly why I was able to lose weight. I spent more time in the gym. That's just how it was. Less time eating, more time in the gym. So I haven't really watched my diet until now, and even then, it's kind of rough. I worked out solely weightlifting, very little cardio after the track whenever I'd actually gotten into a gym. I don't really account much of my weight loss for any diet change rather than calories at that point. My overall goal was to try to get to 170-ish in total from starting around 300. That's where my goal is, 170. And I'm currently at a plateau, and trying to fight to break through it really sucks but I'm trying to push to get there. Like I stated earlier, I wanted to be more attractive, healthier, to be able to project myself out as who I am. My personality delivers a lot better the way that I look because I have a general feel about me. People consider me friendly whenever I walk up to them. They don't go, oh, it's like the big dude, or like, I don't really want to talk to him. You know, all the stigmas and stuff. People just tend to shy away. After the days at the track, a gym near me opened up, and I actually happen to know the owner, and thankfully, uh, rest in peace, my great-grandma, she paid for my membership for a long time, up until her recent passing a couple months ago. I actually got to sit down with her and hold her hand uh, within the last week before she passed, and uh, got to be told how proud she was of me. I thought I'd share that with you guys. That was a big step for me. But, like I said... She funded all that. I was in the gym constantly. I would go before school and after school every single day, and I eventually had to like taper off of it because I was overexerting myself to the point where I had hypoglycemia like symptoms and I would just fall asleep. Like it, I was too worn out to the point that I couldn't function if I wasn't doing anything else. I saved all the energy that I had to be able to get up and go to the gym to burn it again. And I slacked in school because I was just trying to get through it to get to the gym. It kind of became a little bit of a problem, but I benefited in the long run. I was able to figure everything out. I passed the flying colors. High school was fine. <laughs> what I'm trying to get across to you guys is even though I played video games and did all that stuff, I didn't set foot in sports during high school. I was one of the guys that kind of just coasted through. I went from group to group and have a whole lot of friends, but I was still able to put my mind to it and do something. And not stop at the, I can't do it, or it's in my genetics, or I'm always just going to be fat. Things that people usually throw out there as an, as an excuse. I've worked out 1,090 days straight. You can find time. I work three jobs, and I find time. You can definitely do that. I had a conversation with a girl recently in her views as to like why she hasn't lost weight or things she hasn't really applied it to. You have time, I promise. You have time. If you have time to watch this video, you have time to hit the ground and do a couple push-ups, I promise you. I know this video was a little bit of a ramble, and I probably missed some points, but to sum it all up, if I can do 1,090 days straight and lose 100 pounds, there's a lot more that you can do that you aren't even close to being aware of. There's things that I can do that I'm not even close to being aware of. We all have a little bit more gas left in the tank than we think, it's time to get burnt up. Let's fuel it, okay? That was a horrible analogy. But yeah, I managed to play video games, do a passion that I really, really enjoy, 
work multiple jobs and still wake up in the morning and find 30 minutes to hit the ground and do everything that I need to to get my weight loss in for the day. I'm watching calories now, so we'll see what happens. If you guys want to see the rest of the journey, go down in the description. I stream live on Twitch. I'd love to talk to all of you guys and possibly answer some questions there while I'm playing games. Go down to Twitter. You can hit me up. Ask me questions there. I'll do my best to answer. Comments are always open on YouTube as well as see the pictures on Instagram. Leave them a like. Why not? Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go down below. Hit that subscription button. I'm going to try to make more videos like this and do the best that I can. This is the first one, so it's a bit of a ramble. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you guys there. Peace.